Well, hello, folks out there in YouTube land. Got a big show lined up for you. Let's get right on into it. All right, folks. Yeah, the Vols couldn't stop. Seven foot four Edie. I don't know that anybody can. And Kelly Harper's out at UT. So not a whole lot of positive news for the Vols. I didn't do a show yesterday after the game because it was just so frustrating. And I didn't want y'all to hear what I had to say. You don't need to hear things like that. You're just a boy. You need to think about good thoughts while you're still a boy. No, no, you don't need to be hearing that. Carl knows best. You take a look at this game, 72-66. Um, Dalton Connect played a fantastic game. Scored 37 points. He pretty much tried to carry the team on his back. He didn't get a ton of help. Uh, Ziegler didn't play his normal great game. He did score nine points, though. Adu really didn't show up. I think this is probably the worst game he's ever had. I'm sure he's beyond frustrated. James did score eight points. He came through with some nice threes in the front end. And then uh, Ganey made a couple of nice shots. JP did the best he could against uh, Edie. And then, of course, Awaka fouled out, doing his best against him. And then you look at Purdue. They're a one-man team uh, yesterday. Zach Eady scored 40 points, 16 rebounds. That's ridiculous. You just, what do you do? The guy's seven foot four, 300 pounds. He just gets plopped down there in the, uh, in the lane. He waits for somebody to throw him the ball, and then he turns around and he lays it in the basket. It'd basically be like you and me playing an eight foot goal. <laughs> it's just not that hard to turn around and do this. You don't have to necessarily have a ton of skills. And I'm not saying he's not a good athlete. I'm just saying what he's doing is not that difficult when you're seven foot four and that big. Whereas what Dalton Connect did, that's, you know, hitting those threes, doing all that, that's, you know, that's unreal. This guy does this every day. Every game he's scoring 30 points. He's making, you know, he's getting his 15 rebounds. It's just, uh, that's why he's so consistent. The uh, Fletcher did score 14 points for him, and then uh, Smith scored nine, but they didn't do a whole lot other than uh, Fletcher. He was a one-man wrecking crew, and I, every time they went down there, it's like, what do you do? You're either worrying about him, and he doesn't get the ball, and the guy goes by you for a little layup, or he does get the ball, and then you got to try to stop him. And then when they do miss a shot, he's usually there for the rebound because he's got a one-foot advantage on everybody that's even tall. <laughs> it's the darndest thing I've ever seen. I know he doesn't uh, project well in the NBA. They're not all fired up about him because they've got guys in the NBA that are 28, 29 years old that can handle him. We would have loved to have Urus back uh, for one more season. He could have probably handled him pretty well. He wouldn't have scored 40 points. He'd have probably scored 25 or 30. Now, Urus would have fouled out, but he would have fought him. It would have been a battle in there, and he wouldn't have pushed him around. Urus being seven foot and about 260 and – and he just had that mentality of, you're not going to push me around. Unfortunately, our guys just aren't big enough. Uh, Awaka did the best he could, but he's only six foot eight. The guy's got almost a foot on him and about 40, 50 pounds. Adu, he's got, I don't know, 70 pounds on him. You know, Adu's kind of skinny. He couldn't do much with him. So it was just unfortunate. And we had such a good team. This was a special team that could have gone, you know, we, we could have won it all with this team. But the team I was most worried about was Purdue because we can't match up with that guy. My brother Walt was saying the whole time, he said, this is the game that I'm concerned about. He said, I think we could win the other games. We can beat an Alabama. We can beat these other smaller clubs. But we don't have a way to match up with this big guy. He was right. And, of course, we've got news that Kelly Harper was let go today. I kind of had a feeling that was going to happen. It has to do with her payoff. We knew that her payoff was going to drop by 50% today, the, day, uh, the first day of April. And sure enough, uh, they let her go. And says after five seasons, you know, you know, she did okay. She just never really got them going. They would win 20, 22, 23 games. And they never really uh, did much in the NCAA tournament. Couldn't win the SEC. Of course, South Carolina owns that. And it was just uh, unfortunate. Here you can see her compensation. It said Monday going from 100% of her annual compensation, dropped to 50% of it uh, starting uh, today. And Danny White said, after a thorough review of our basketball program, I've informed Kelly we are making a change in leadership. He thanked her, obviously, for all she'd done for the Vols. And so we'll be looking for a, a new – Ladies Vols, a basketball coach. Danny White can handle this. I am 100% confident that when it comes to basketball, he's the right guy to handle this. He has a great history of uh, hiring uh, head basketball coaches. He knows basketball in and out. He will find us a good coach, 
And the Lady Vols, I tell you what, don't be surprised in a year or two if they're not back on top in the top two or three or four programs. Danny White's kind of a special athletic director, and we are very fortunate to have him. He's really made a believer out of me. I was not excited about his hire. I was not excited about uh, Josh Heupel. Couldn't have been more wrong. Wrong. Wrong, 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 wrong. I looked at the guy's history. He's made some really good coaching hires and uh, handles his job really well. So I don't think we have anything to worry about when it comes to that. And uh, it's unfortunate it didn't work out with Kelly Harper. It just seems we keep going back to the same well of Pat Summit prodigies or Pat Summit former players. It may be time to uh, look outside of that uh, pond and try to uh, find somebody that might just be an ideal fit regardless of whether they played at UT or not. That may not be a popular view, but when you limit yourself to a very small number of people, you're probably not going to get the ideal person for your program. Just my opinion. I could be wrong. I know there's been some talk of bringing in another former player. We'll see how it plays out. But for me, you know, I would try to throw a large net and try to figure out the very best uh, coach out there. And I wouldn't worry about who they necessarily played for in the past. But, you know, we'll see how that plays out. It it'll be fine, though. And unfortunately, uh, this is not a very positive video. Sorry about that. It's just this was a great year, a great season. I hate we had to play Purdue. It just stinks. But we we're going to have to face them at some point. I don't know how anybody stops that guy in there. I really don't. It's just they're going to have to shoot like crazy. We could have actually won that game, but our other guys would have had to play really well on top of what um, Dalton Connect did. And for Dalton, I can't wait to watch him in the NBA. I think he's going to be fantastic. What a generational player he was for us. And he was only here a year, but it was a great year. He's good. He's real good. The name is Dalton. And don't forget his name is Dalton. <laughs> Roadhouse. If you like this content, be sure to hit that like button. Let's me continue to cover my Vols, the SEC, all this great college uh, football news. And I wish I had better tidings for you today. But look, it was a great season. we got football coming up. Baseball is going to be unbelievable. We're good in all three sports. We're going to be good in uh, women's basketball again. That'll give us four. And if you like this content, be sure to hit that like button. Let's me continue to cover all this college news. And uh, for the Tennessee folks, these things happen. It was a great season. Don't be too down about it. I got to tell myself that every day. <laughs> and if you've not subscribed, it's on your right and my left. Hit this little button. It costs you not a dime. And what's this for? Anyway, and uh, <laughs> right over here is the most recent video. YouTube thinks you'll enjoy. And we'll see you next time on Sports Talk J. Dang, that game almost killed me. Ugh. My brother's inconsolable.